What's up, this is guess Hack today. I'm going to show you MS, MS DOS 6.222, 6.22, whatever you want to call it. Tutorial. Let's start up with um, installing it. <laughs> so, uh, you need to have, to have uh, the three boot images disk 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you can download it at Pirate Bay or the internet or whatever you want. Maybe you have a floppy disk somewhere in your old PC. If you know what it means, I mean, not everyone these days know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> so yeah, or I mean, some people don't even know what the fucking compact disk is. Disk is. But anyway, let's get started. First of all, you need to have Virtual PC 27. Uh, you can download it at the Microsoft website. It will it will be in the description below. Uh, the MS DOS 6.22 floppy disk you also need to find it on Google I'm not going to show you a download link well maybe I'm going to do it I will see so let's start up um, you start up a virtual PC you get this little screen you click on next it will ask you to create a new PC click on next oh wait right back I uh, select the option create a virtual PC it's yeah new so now select the location um, the location will be the virtual machines I'm going to call it DOS because I'm lazy uh, the operating system I'm going to choose Windows 89 because that's when uh, the code of MS-DOS is based on Windows 89 it's the same code, it's not based but it's the same code uh, the memory should be 46 MB, yeah correctly MB not GB but MB, it's, it's, it's low but that's in these days it was pretty big so yeah, um, the virtual disk 16 MB, yeah. I know what you're thinking, don't change a fuck because that's what we need. The recommended RAM 46, use it because you have, you, uh, it doesn't make any difference if you're going to use 120 uh, MB or 4 GB because the script, uh, I mean the code of um, MS-DOS is, um, is written on maximum of 46 MB because uh, Bill Gates thought Ah, not everyone going to have 46 MB by that time, but fuck you Bill Gates, you're wrong. So yeah, let's continue. Uh, we're going to make a new exist uh, a new virtual hard drive disk. So select that option, click on next and click on yeah, the virtual disk size just leave it and click on the uh, next so now you have the name DOS memory 46 MB and the virtual hard disk is called DOS hard disk VHD. Close it, finish it. Now you see it's a great gray. So let's start with installing DOS. Have these floppy disk right here. We're not going to use this one. If you have downloaded one with that one, don't use it. So let's start. Okay, be right back. So yeah, let's continue. Um, I just got a full full call. Sorry about that. Um, continue. Um, let's see where are we? We have made a new virtual disk. Oh yeah, click on settings and go to the bottom at networking. Click on adapter one and click on local only because we don't need any internet because MS DOS is way before Wi-Fi for your people who don't understand it. Uh, click on close and I mean close and uh, check off safe state because uh, you may use it but it's it's not necessary I mean click on OK and the safe state uh, is just an extra option and it's totally unnecessary so click on uh, DOS and click on start and it will now start up um, a empty virtual PC you can see it's uh, checking the memory and it doesn't have anything so we're going to load a floppy capture um click on floppy capture floppy image and go to the floppies uh and does and click on disk image one or floppy one whatever it's called now restart the, the reset the pc reset the virtual machine whatever and <laughs> It will now run from the MS-DOS. So, 
Welcome to the setup. Um, as you can see, you now have MS DOS. I'm going to be in full screen mode so you can see it better. Yeah, 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 yeah. All under, yeah. So, whoa, that was <laughs> not great for my laptop. <laughs> so, um, click on uh, welcome to the setup. The setup prepares MS DOS 6.22 to run on your PC. Set up MS DOS, press enter, we're going to press enter and we're going to configure on unallocated disk space. So enter and it will now format your drive. Don't worry, it's just a virtual PC drive of 60 MB. 16 MB, sorry. Um Yeah. So it's now format formatting a uh, drive C and it will go very fast. So I'll be right back. Let's continue with this. So these settings are correct because that's my um, local time. Enter. MS DOS is the directory. Enter. And now it's going to install. As you can see, there's a mouse at the top corner. I think it's a bug, but let's get a uh, full screen. Alt. Enter gets you out of full screen, it's useful for the installation. Uh, click on um, floppy, release disk 1, capture disk, and select disk 2. Now press on enter and it will continue to 60%, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, 85. Uh, click again on floppy, release disk 2, capture, and use disk 1. Click on enter. And I hear, as you can hear, you heard the bloop thingy, I don't know what it's called. So yeah, now remove, it means that it's done with the installation. So now remove, release the floppy and press enter. It will now, uh, MS-DOS 6.22 is now installed on your computer. Restart the computer with pressing enter. So you can also use um, the help what's new and command to see what is new. So press enter and it will crash. No, uh, it will restart. <laughs> so now you have MS DOS 6.22 on your PC. As you can see, um, help shows you the com basic command. So that's how you get help. And now I'm going to exit the help menu by pressing Alt, I mean, the left Alt. F and X, X. So let's get started with some commands. Um, we're going to use a basic command. Let's get into full screen. I'm not sure if it's going to fuck up with the resolution of my disk, but uh, of the screen. But I'm sorry. I'm not sure if it even captures this. I hope so. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, we're going to type in uh, dir di for a directory, and you can see the volume is drive C, MS DOS six, serial number, etc. So now we have a full screen, right? Uh, screen with random text, etc. But we want to clear it. So to clear the screen, make it uh, like this. Uh, type in CLS. CLS stands for uh, equals clear screen that's why CL is for clear and the other screen so let's get started okay so let's get started uh, we're going to type in dire for a directory and uh, dire means directory As you can see uh, dire I'm going to dire um, slash dos oh. dire slash dos I mean backslash um, dire we're going to directory dos backslash dos so as you can see there were a lot of files but it went way too quickly to see the first two files because my PC is of course too fast so what do you want uh, what do we want we're going to uh, to see the first two one we're going to type in directory uh, slash P, P stands for page. So let's 
so you can see the thing web page. So and then we're going to type in backslash does. The fuck? Wait, dire backslash b. Okay, so now we're going to type in dire backslash does. Went too quick. Dire dire slash p slash does dire does. Okay, stupid beginner's mistake. Um. Okay, sorry. There's a little bit of beginner's mistake. I didn't really pay attention at DOS school. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I forgot some things. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, when you type in dire, uh, dire slash, for example, uh, yeah, when you type in dire and then uh, backslash DOS, and you want DOS to show you in pages, you're going to type in slash dot, uh, p and press enter. So now you have the DOS directory uh, set up like pages. So as you can see, the first one is attribution, attribution, exe, and uh, check disk. I think I'm not sure about all those um, shortcuts, but press enter and you see any key, whatever you want. You see the continuum, DOS setup, etc., and graphics, help, RAM, mode, unformat, MVM, save. So and there are a to total of 125 files on the DOS. If you have more or less, something went wrong, or something else. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to type in now. We're going to want to have it um, uh, selected on the white, and what do I mean white? Full, like um, from left to right, with some uh, list. Type in dire slash uh, backslash dos slash w for white. And you have all the all the things on DOS next to each other, like list. As you can see, if you count them, if you're going to count all of them, it, it's 105, or the other number that's going to stand right there. So let's continue with uh, selecting. Uh, for example, if you want, I want to have show. I want to uh, have the find.exe. I want to have that. Um, shown on the screen, not the program, but the selection. So we're going to type in dire backslash dos slash uh, on for on name. Go to um, sorry, everything <laughs> alphabetic. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's uh, change a directory. We're going to type in cd, and now we have to put the disk. So we're going to um, make a directory md stands for make directory oops uh, and the and then backslash um, test so we now we're going to type in um, dire and you see that it says test and now we're going to make another directory called um, uh, windows yeah make directory backslash windows Windows, um, wait, and Microsoft. Microsoft, yeah, well, Microsoft is an excellent uh, example. We're going to call it Microsoft. So as you can see, it says Microsoft with um, nine letters, but MS DOS is written in eight, uh, in an eight bit code. So, yeah, eight bit code. So um, now we're going to type in the dire, and as you can see, Microsoft. Because the T is just a ninth letter and Microsoft is just enough to fill the eight spaces. So now we have a directory. Uh, we're going to go to directory backslash does and it shows you thing. So, wait. Uh, I mean, change directory and to go, go to does. So now we are in does. We want to go into Microsoft. So we're going to type in cd backslash microsoft and bam you're microsoft and we want to delete for example we want to delete the test directory we're going to type in 
rd for remove directory and we're going to type in rd backslash test and now we're going to type in a cd enter i mean cd backslash enter and that's it root so now we're going to type in dire and you can see it's um test is not at the directory at the um at the c drive so we're also going to delete microsoft just to show you what's really happening we're going to type in rd backslash Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft will also count on micro F of D because everything after the after the eight letter character will not be recognized. And that's because of the code of um, MS DOS. It's all written in eight bit code so you won't see it. So let's just type in Microsoft. Delete and re it removed the directory. Type in Dire is not showing you Microsoft. So that's the ending of lesson one. Um, I will see you in the next week. And to sum, on, sum up of this lesson, I showed you um, how to install MS DOS 6.22. I showed you how to clear screen, showed you how to change directory, make a directory, and remove a directory. Also, showed you how to show the um, stuff on a directory so oops. see you later and thanks for watching